Now, and part of what constrains agreeableness, let's say from a temperamental perspective, so if you're low in agreeableness, let's say, well, you're less empathic, you're more competitive, you're rougher, blunter, tougher, you know, emo uh, what would you say, at least with regards to the, yeah, the compassion you show to others. Um, and so what, what helps modulate that? Well, some of that would be conscientiousness. And so in the dark triad types, you see low conscientiousness as well. You know, really low agreeable, high conscientious types are quite interesting because you can trust them because they'll do their duty but they're very blunt and direct and harsh. And that can be helpful as well, because they'll tell you unpleasant truths, even if they hurt your feelings. So there's some yes. utility in that. So you can imagine that agreeableness can be modified, let's say, by conscientiousness. Mm -hmm. So that, and that takes the, the psychopathy edge off it, because low agreeableness and low conscientiousness, that's, that's a rough combination.